Are you ready to break free from the 9 to 5 grind? Find something that really lights your fire, really gets you excited every day to wake up and find something really purposeful in your life? Sick and tired of that feeling of always just wanting to, you're working today just to get to the weekend, just to get something towards something that you can really enjoy. Well, if that's you and you're looking for something to really get yourself going here in 2024 and beyond, this episode is going to be exactly what you're looking for. I have four things I want to encourage you to do today, which is exactly the steps that I took back when I decided I was going to leave my nine to five grind and really break free and start developing and and creating the life that I desired versus the one that was being created for me, which is a completely different mindset, a completely different set of rules, uh, but it's not hard. It's just a shift in mindset. And I hopefully at the end of this episode, you'll be well on your way to thinking through how you're going to uh, get yourself out of that negative uh, feeling of the work and of the grind and start really start getting into a life that you truly desire. So welcome back to the Rich Mind Podcast. My name is Randy Wilson, and I just want to leave with you some encouraging thoughts today. So let me just dive in really quick to a story and see if this doesn't resonate with you and hopefully give you a little bit more encouragement that number one, you can do this. And number two, that the best time to start is today. So back in 2006, 2007, I was doing what most of us do, just working hard, grinding, working long hours at a job that I actually, I didn't dislike the job itself, but the amount of hours, the amount of time it took away from me, from my family, from the things I wanted to accomplish, it was just, it was a lot, it was a ton. Uh, It was a a big burden on me and my family, and I was doing just what I was told to do. I was always told to just work hard, keep your nose down, work hard. Eventually, you get to the top of whatever corporation you're working for uh, and just keep trying to climb that corporate ladder of of status. And at some point in this distant future that nobody knows where it is, you'll finally get to that place where you're loving life, loving the, the journey, loving getting up, going to work every day. The pay will finally be what it's supposed to be, uh, meaning as far as what you think is is like, you know, a good number. And what I quickly found out back then was that was 100 percent not true. Uh, What happened to me back in 2007 going into 2008 is the company that I was working for were downsizing. They were eliminating positions. Uh, It was actually a retail grocery chain is what I worked for. And they were actually closing stores. It was getting so bad within this company that not only were they uh, cutting back on staff, but they were literally closing stores. And I was one of them. The store that I was at was one of those stores. I had no idea that it was coming. Uh, As I mentioned, I was just narrowly focused on the goal of getting to the next step in the position, uh, just trying to get the store as profitable as I possibly could. But I found out quickly that I was not in charge or I was not in control, I should say, rather than in charge. I was not in control of my life. And this company 100% could dictate whether I was employed, not employed, what position I was going to have. I mean, it was it was really an eye-opening experience going through that moment when I was told that they were going to close my store and didn't know exactly what that meant, meaning as far as where I was going to be going. All I was told is that I was going to be taken care of. They didn't know what even what that meant. And so that spurred me to go on this journey where I am today. This was obviously now we're talking 15, 16 years ago almost uh, that I've been on this journey of personal development starting businesses, creating brands, launching podcasts, all kinds of things. And that's what I want to do today is to offer you some encouragement, some things for you to think about, for you to consider that if you feel like you're in the same position of the grind, right? That that's the only way to get where you want to go is, is the grind. Then I would encourage you to tell you that that is not true. I've had to do a lot of discovery of this on my own. Uh, I tell a lot of folks a lot of times that I am really 100% self-taught. I haven't really had too many mentors, meaning close mentors. I've had plenty of mentors outside of my influence, meaning family, friends, that kind of thing. But as far as like really close to me, you always hear about that 
famous rich uncle or cousin or something like that, or, or, you know what I mean? You hear stories like that. And I never had that. I never had anyone really to put our, put their arm around me really and say, you know, here's what you need to go do. And here's what you should do. And here's the next step. And this is what to look out for. I've made many mistakes. I've tried many things. And the, really the, the key to that part though, is that I've tried. I've continuously tried. Uh, the word I love to use is pivot. And I want to encourage you today to think about pivoting in your current place. Uh, pivot doesn't necessarily mean an uproot, like you don't, you're not going to completely eliminate. But at the same time, a pivot is uh, just a change in direction. Uh, you can keep doing what you're doing if that's serving you. But at the same time, you can start looking down a different path and finding out a new way to really get this life that you truly desire. So let's dive into those encouragements, those things that I want to encourage you to do today and some, some action steps that go along with that as well. So the first thing I want to encourage you to do today is to think about your own personal brand, meaning you, your name. So myself, obviously, Randy Wilson. So who is Randy Wilson? What does Randy Wilson have to offer? So I want to flip that on to you. What is your name? Obviously, you, you can think about that, obviously, as, as I'm speaking now. But consider going out there and doing some research. Going on to GoDaddy.com. I currently use Namecheap.com. Just the domain services. And go finding out if your name.com is available. And start thinking about your own personal brand. Meaning, you can go out there and start talking about things you're passionate about today. But the thing is, is that having a place for people to go to learn more about you is a really key, key part of that. So for myself, my randywilson.com was already taken when I went to go look for this. So what I did is I added the word online at the very end of my name. So it's randywilsononline.com. And so that's a place for you and anybody else that wants to go learn a little bit more about me. Uh, they can get a co free copy of my book and then we're able to keep a conversation going. We can learn more about each other and then they can uh, you know, get involved with me, with the podcast, with different offerings that I have uh, out there in the marketplace. And that's what I would encourage you to think about as well is creating your own personal brand, not being overwhelmed by that. It doesn't have to be anything extravagant, but it can definitely be something that you can build upon, which is exactly what I've done here with uh, my name. And then obviously developing out the Rich Mind uh, for the Rich Mind podcast as a brand itself. So we can go down that path as well. There's so many different avenues, but if you don't take that first step of developing your own personal brand, that is what uh, will keep you from really getting out there into the marketplace and helping folks uh, figure out what it is that you can do to help them. And that's exactly what I've done with my name and my brand. And I would encourage you to do that as well. So the second thing I would like to encourage you to do today is really think about and do some research on some topics that you're super passionate about. So for me, for example, personal development, as I've learned these terms, uh, the negative thoughts, the negative beliefs, the things that we've all been fed, that is a super big passionate subject of mine, which means that I've gone down and read so many different books, listened to so many different audio programs to the point where I feel like I have a good grasp I can't say it. I'm not going to proclaim that I'm a master at any of them, but at the same time, I have a good grasp enough to to come on a podcast like this and present them as as ideas, uh, put my own spin on some of the things, uh, share some of my stories. Uh, but that has been a subject of mine that I did some research and I found out that that was a need in the marketplace, which then I can jump on and start speaking about relatively easily. I can hit record and have a message crafted pretty quickly because of all the research and all the things that I've done in the past. So that's what I would encourage you to do. It can be anything. I've had the idea. So another passion of mine right now is the NFL football. So uh, we're getting ready to end the season, but I, I've considered thinking about possibly starting to create some content talking about the NFL and just the football. I just enjoy that subject. And I would get a lot of, uh, I would feel good about, I would really enjoy uh, having discussions about uh, the NFL. So that would be another subject. It can be anything for yourself. What are you passionate about? And start doing some research. Find some folks that are 
doing, talking about your subject that you're interested in and start following them. Start seeing what they're doing. And what I've done, and it's helped me get down the path of where I am today, was I don't, you don't copy folks, meaning you don't word for word, uh, same images, you know, you, but you can, you can mirror them, right? You get ideas, best practices, and then put it in your own words, put it in ways that will resonate with yourself to keep you going. So as I keep referring back to the podcast, I had some ideas of exactly how I wanted my podcast to be my brand to be. And that was based on the research that I'd done uh, following so many different folks. I listened to podcasts consistently and constantly, almost too much, my wife would tell me. But I learned so much and from that research that I knew when I launched mine exactly how I wanted it to be, how I wanted it to feel. And that's the research I want to encourage you to do today is find the topic or topics that you want to build your brand around and do some research, find out who those people are and start following them. So that way you can begin to mirror them and their uh, likeness and, and really bend it around who you are, right? You show up who you are, be authentic, and you'll never, you'll be surprised as far as uh, where that can absolutely take you. And the third thing I want to encourage you to do today is to take action. And I want you to take messy action, meaning we don't know what the final outcome is going to be. We have a vision, so craft your vision of what this brand, what this message is going to be, but start taking action. And it can be the smallest actions, as I mentioned uh, with the first, uh, as far as like your brand. Go to the websites, find out if domains are even available. If you're interested in launching a podcast, start doing some research. How do you do that? If you would like some help with that, you can obviously reach out to me. I'd be more than happy to try to help you uh, craft and get some ideas of, of where to go. Uh, if just the idea of taking action, simple, small steps can lead to big things down the road. As I mentioned, it, this started for me back in 2007, 2008. I wouldn't say that I really, really dove into this probably till 2010, 2011. Uh, so, you know, it was two or three years of, of learning that I could do something different before I really started to take action. But when I started to take action, things ramped up very quickly to the point where I was able to accomplish a lot in a relatively short period of time. The point is I was willing to take action and I took it as fast as I possibly could. Here's a tip for you. And this was something that I took on as an idea. I don't know if someone shared this with me or if it was just an idea that I had, but it has served me well to the point where I literally do this still to this day. I actually just did it yesterday. So that tip is when you hear something, meaning a book, a podcast, someone to follow. So what will start happening is as you start doing your research, you're going to start hearing people recommend books, recommend audio programs, recommend uh, certain people to listen to. Take a moment as quickly as you possibly can in that moment, if you can, meaning like right then, but it, in the relatively short period of time, look those people up, get those books. Amazon is a great resource to the point where you can literally have a book on its way within seconds, especially if you know the title, know the author. Uh, so this happened for me yesterday. I was listening to something and somebody recommended an audio program or a program, excuse me, it was just an author. It wasn't necessarily an audio program, but I'm an auditory listener. So I love Audible. I listen to Audible all the time. So I have different books and things uh, on Audible. So what happened was this person recommended this author and I instantly jumped on Audible and looked it up and lo and behold, there it was, the gentleman, all of his work. And I downloaded some of his, his content and I'm excited to dive in. The point being is that, that that action has served me well in the past and it will continue to do so in the future because you never know what one idea, what one thought, what one author, you never know where that will lead you to. It could be the exact thing you need when you need it to get you where you want to go. So when I started out and I was discovered uh, the personal development space and the book uh, Retire Rich, Retire Young uh, by Robert Kiyosaki talked about the program Lead the Field by Earl Nightingale. That was my introduction into the personal development space. Earl Nightingale has been gone from us for a long time now, but his content still lives on today. Had, it not, had I not discovered that Lead the Field program, you and I wouldn't be having this discussion today. The point that I wanna drive home in 
here it is that find take messy action but as you begin taking that messy action you're going to get nuggets of wisdom uh, you're going to get resources brought to your attention take action and, and get those resources uh, whether it's a book even if you go to the library you can go to the library and look for uh, specific uh, authors right might not be the exact book or the exact referenced item by the individual but you can definitely get uh, bits of information that you can then put into action uh, and that's the beginning of it right messy action take action but start today start today the fourth thing i would love for you and encourage you to do starting today is to turn off all the noise that's going on out there in the world meaning there's always things going on. You can look back in history and it, there's never going to be an end of chaos, of negative news, of just negativity. Negative things sell, meaning those folks that are presenting these, the, the news channels and the newspapers and the, all of those things, think about what they're in business to do, even social media. They're in business to get eyeballs on their product or service. And the way they do that is to promote and talk about all the negative things that are going on in our world. Am I saying that those things aren't happening? I'm not saying that. But what I am saying is that you can put yourself on a information or negative news diet. You can stop consuming so much of that information. One thing that I decided to do very early in my process was I decided to turn off the news. I don't watch the news at all. The local news, the nightly news, the any news. I don't watch any of it. Now, I will say that every now and then, like a, a program like 60 Minutes or something like that will come on, uh, like a documentary type series that they will be talking about a specific subject that I'm curious about that I will tune in for something like that. But as far as like watching the, the news on a continuous basis, that is absolutely something that I do not do. And I want to encourage you today to start putting yourself on a diet, turn some things off. If social media is your trigger, turn it off, or at least start limiting your, your ability or limiting your ability to get on those, those platforms, right? You can easily do those things and it's gonna take some discipline. But if you're in the process of growing yourself, growing your personal brand, start getting out there and making an impact and reaching more folks, you have to turn off the negative news and get into a space of positivity, of abundance, and it's out there. You just have to go looking for it a little harder because it's not making these, these uh, media programs money. It's not profitable to talk about positivity and abundance and all the good things that are in, in life, right? It's not as profitable, profitable for these businesses, which means that that's what you're, you're never gonna find it unless you dig for it. And hopefully you're finding that uh, here on the Rich Mind Podcast that I'm uh, being able to do some of those things in your life uh, as you've you know followed me through the the episodes here today and going forward. So there you have it, folks. Some things that I wanted to encourage you to do today, as I mentioned, take control. It's all about control. If if other things if uh, have control of your mind, of your thinking, of your thoughts, then they've got control of your actions. And if they have control of your actions, then they're going to have control of your results. And if they have control of your results, then where you're at today is nowhere near where you could be and where I think that you probably want to get to in the future. So it starts with that control. So if you're in an environment where you have a feeling that you just need to uh, start pivoting to get out of this space, this negative feeling of, of the grind and the nine to five and just the work environment, start today to go through these things that I've encouraged you to do today. It's a journey that will help you grow. And as you grow, you will get better. And as you get better, you're gonna be able to keep having more impact on more people. And that is when it starts really getting to be fun. And I encourage you to do that for yourself, for your family, for your uh, community. It's just a really beautiful thing. So folks, uh, hopefully you found value in this message. Uh, if I can help you in any way with any of these subjects, uh, please reach out to me. You can email me at randy at randywilsononline.com and let's let's discuss it, right? If it's something that we feel like we want to jump on a quick phone call, I don't have a problem jumping on and Chris even just giving you some, some quick advice of where you are, uh, where I think you could go. And sometimes it just takes that little nudge 
to get yourself over the hump to start taking some of that messy action. If I can be that for you, uh, please reach out to me at Randy at randywilsononline.com. Send me an email uh, and uh, let's have a discussion. It'll be a lot of fun. So go out there, have a fantastic day, focus on being great. And I look forward to coming back with the next episode very soon. Until then, bye now. Thank you for joining me on the Rich Mind Podcast. And remember, your external world is a reflection of what's going on inside of you. So focus every day on that internal battle and win within. Until next time, my friends.